How do you put three decades of moments into words? And I'm Vicki Yates. Thanks for joining us. Every night at 6 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. News Channel 5's Vicki Yates has been right here. She's also been a single mom doing her best for her kids. A concerned neighbor. Every little bit helps. Doing her best by her community. A partner in causes with a higher calling than herself. There was nobody out there that didn't like Vicki Yates. So join us now for memories. <laughs> Laughter. <laughs> and maybe a few of these. Oh my God, we knew this I, was coming. But... I love them so much. Celebrating Vicky, going out in style. No matter the look, Vicki Yates has blessed Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky with the same calm confidence and grace nearly every weeknight for the past 33 years. Can you believe that? Where'd the time go? <laughs> Tonight, we're going to send her out in style. Thank you so much for being with us as we celebrate our friend who has become family over the years. So we have our tissues ready. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is going to be a tall task to take the highlights of 33 years mm -hmm. to put into the next 30 minutes, but we're going to do it. Uh, and we've been doing it all month. There are so many stories of everything that Vicki has accomplished. And if you missed any of them, they are all online on our website right now. And Vicki, we have heard from viewers and neighbors alike. It's just not going to be the same here without you. It's not going to be the same for me. I, I know that this is a wonderful time when you get to retire, but I'm leaving people that I love. You know, and that's never easy. That's never easy, but but it happens, and and I'll be fine, and I'll come back if you'll let me in. Yes, of please. course, oh. that door is always open. <laughs> Lifetime pass. Yes. Well, listen, folks, we know Vicky as the voice and face of News Channel Five for the past three decades. We want to go back in time to celebrate her storied career that actually spans 48 years. Mm -hmm. Vicky grew up in Detroit and attended Michigan State University, where surprisingly. Journalism was not her first career choice. It was advertising. That way she figured she could do what she loved, write and be creative. But soon journalism came calling through an internship in Lansing. She got her first shot on air when a reporter called out sick and the news director asked her to fill in. From there, Vicki's career flourished. From a newsroom in her hometown of Detroit, then Toledo, Cincinnati, and Pittsburgh, finally, in the spring of 1990 to Nashville and News Channel 5. Here, Vicki has covered just about every story and along the way earned multiple accolades for her anchoring of special right, events and breaking news, along with her longtime weekly school patrol reports. In 2011, a career highlight, Vicki was invited to the White House. Mr. President, thank you for your time. For a one-on-one -on -one interview with then President Barack Obama. Through it all, She's been there for all of us with consistent professionalism, kindness, and grace. Amen to that. Yeah. Yes. That's just a snippet, obviously, so much more. Do you have any career. favorite moment, moments, Vicki? You know, actually working, anytime I can work and volunteer and do the story too, I feel like I've got a, a double header because I'm doing the story and I'm doing something that I love, helping people. So that's, that's what I remember. That's not a surprise that you would say that at all. <laughs> no, no. And, you know, it's been our distinct pleasure to be your nighttime family. You are? We really are. We're like you the really four are. amigos here. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult to not hear the pitter-patter of your, of your heels coming down the hallway. Um, but we know that we are not how your News Channel 5 family started. Uh, you've gone through a lot of important memories and important friends here. And our Chris Davis sat down with three colleagues who were here when you mic'd up for the very first time yeah. here at the Big Nickel. Over the last few years. Hello, sir. How are you? Thank you. You've come to know, and we hope, love this news team. Thank you for joining us. I'm Carrie Sharp along with Vicki Yates this afternoon. But if you've been in the area long enough, chances are you'll remember these faces too. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. Vicki's co-anchor of 17 years, Chris Clark. So he wanted to know what the weather's going to be like. Ron Howes on weather and Hope Hines on sports. Who do you like tonight? 
UNLV. I think they're going to win. Go. You got to go with UNLV. Well, see, she, she already look at her intelligence. <laughs> Thank I mean, you. the lady knows about sports. She knows UNLV won about that about game, by the way. You know, kids today don't know who, these, who, who we are. Don't grandmothers do. Great grandmothers do, oh, too. Grandmothers do. <laughs> Every <laughs> once in a while we get yeah. that. Well, my grandmother watched you all the time. I you got know. that. All three of them who are now enjoying the spoils of retirement. Our combined ages are, well, forget that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go there. there. Say they remember when the news broke in 1990 that Vicki Yates was joining the team. She was immaculate from head to all of those beautiful shoes, and I'm a shoe person, <laughs> yeah. so I notice things like that. She may have been like a duck. She may have been paddling like heck underwater, but on top she was yeah. just as calm as, as ever. Vicki showed her easygoing spirit starting with her very first newscast at News Channel 5. Thanks, Lisa. Chris? When her official introduction didn't go exactly as planned. Take this break in the news to welcome Lisa, Lisa, Vicki Yates. <laughs> I'll go by Lisa, that's Vicky fine. Is. We just had Lisa on the air. Didn't we, we sure did. She Vicky took that gaffe I made and turned it around into something we could all smile about, and it was perfect. She didn't take offense at that at all. There were people who could have taken offense and probably did if I had done that to other people. If these three are to be believed, her calm demeanor was often put well, to the told, test. She told them stories you wouldn't oh, want to read. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I am kidding. <laughs> she was quiet and looking at the script and going on to the next thing. Totally professional. Yeah, some, some trying to regain the professionalism after the sports. <laughs> <laughs> All while raising a family by herself. And she was raising three little children as a single mom and she would come in so composed. She did that, cooking them meals every day and coming into a high pressure job and she pulled it off, don't you think, just beautifully, like it was a walk in the park to her. As the years went on, so did longtime traditions. Three, two. The news is now. Like when the open music would start, so would their little we're number one dance. She'd sit down and we'd go, we'd go like that. And that kind of just got us up for the, for the headline thing. And through it all, they've become close friends. And I thought, I've been with Chris longer than I've been with my husband. My ex-husband. <laughs> and had a better relationship, too, I might. <laughs> and that will likely only grow. She definitely made us a whole lot better than what we normally were, I can promise you that. Now that Vicki will have time to join a very different iteration of this team. Vicki, you were the glue that held News Channel 5 together for so long. and. You know, now it's time to enjoy life. We love you. We enjoyed working every minute with you. And now go off and have the best retirement ever. Have a wonderful evening. Hey, look at that. Who's here? Say, you are an easy woman to celebrate. And the uh. celebration's already started. Look at those faces. So this is upstairs. There is a huge party that is waiting for you as we get to the end of this celebration to really launch you off in style as we get upstairs and continue to share these incredible stories. And people couldn't wait. They were downstairs at oh your desk goodness. all crowded they around were, like, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> the woman of the hour. And I you know, can't wait. it is not just coworkers and family celebrating tonight. The community is as well. Vicki, I found no shortage of people who really wanted to weigh in on how much you have meant to them as a dedicated servant and advocate. This is CBS. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. The controversial church bell. So he wanted to know what the weather's going to be. That like. research is by the Tennessee yeah, Conservation. It's a great place to work. It's a great place to live. This is the Vicki we all know. For inside edition. The calm, controlled, Thank and you. reassuring voice delivering the day's news. And this is the Vicki so many across Middle Tennessee are fortunate to know and count on, turning the studio spotlight on causes that often serve the most vulnerable in our community. When someone like Vicki Yates is invested in your organization, you know how fortunate you are because she doesn't just come in and do one thing. She is in there for the long haul. That's certainly been the case with Safe Haven Family Shelter, which ensures families who are experiencing homelessness can stay together. Vicki has literally done it all for Safe Haven, saying yes for more than a decade. She started out uh, emceeing our annual hike for Safe Haven. And ever since then, I mean, she has been involved in so many capacities from 
putting on her dancing shoes for our annual Dancing for Safe Haven event, to co-chairing, to board service. The YWCA has also been a longtime recipient of Vicki's time, compassion, and commitment. Vicki was inducted into the YWCA's Academy of Women of Achievement in 2019, a prestigious nod to Vicki's servant heart, one that beats for families and children in this community. Quatina Waller called Vicki after hearing she was a single mother, asking her to MC an event for the Hope Station, which supports single moms with rent and utility payments. And then she asked Vicki to be on the board of directors. And of course, Vicki said yes. She's busy over here, she's busy over here, and but she just she has time for all of it. I, I just don't know how she does it. <laughs> We're not quite sure either, but this we do know. In all the ways Vicki has touched lives through this screen, so many more have been changed by her work away from the cameras. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you for all that you will do. I believe that this is just the start of the next chapter of her life. <laughs> well, wow. I've had the pleasure to sit behind Vicki in the newsroom, and I've heard you on the phone with moms who've said, I need help getting presents for my children. You said. I'll take care of it. You helped a woman get rides to her cancer treatment. And I could go on and on. There is so much that you have done that has gone unseen, that has not been in the spotlight, Thank but it's made Karen. a huge difference. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I, you know, you, you do things because you care. And I know all of you do the same thing. So it's, you, you do the well, best you Well, because of your leadership. Yeah. 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 All yes. of you. Oh, well. yes. And of course, here at the station, we have a number of initiatives, mm -hmm. including the diversity team, That's which right. you have led for years, for years and put on some really important programs for the staff. But I've turned it over to Henry Rothenberg and Levi Ismail, and yeah. they'll do a fine job. I know they will. But thank you for that. Yes. No doubt. All right. We also know you're passionate about edu education, I of am. course. Nearly every week, Vicki has taken us inside classrooms on field trips, the playgrounds, and beyond with School Patrol and now retired photojournalist Charlie <laughs> Woodward. One of the only Charlie Woodward was by your <laughs> side for pretty much all of those stories, and he had this to share. The thing about Vicky is that um, people love Vicky, no matter where you go. They they love Vicky, and and what I always tell everybody because people always ask when they find out I worked at Channel Five and that I know Vicky, uh, they would say, "Boy, is, is she really that nice?" And I will tell everybody that she's not. Only that night, she's even nicer in person. Early. You can't fake it. <laughs> nope, Which not is, at all. A, you know, a key to our success as a station. Um, a lot of great people here, but the shining light. Yes, you know, and steady been... as she goes, no matter what is happening behind the scenes, sometimes live TV is a little crazy Wild. at times. A bit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> can be. <laughs> not Vicki, she is steady as can be. I say, and I think what's so amazing about you is that it, it can be intimidating, the gravitas mm -hmm. that you carry, but being in your presence is also immediately calming. Oh. And that is such a gift and Thank such you. an inspiration. You have left an indelible mark on every single person that you've met and that you've told stories to. We could not tell them all, but we have to tell at least one. This is an example from a former intern. Seeing Miss Vicky on TV, seeing someone that, with professionalism and such grace on our TV screens, it was, it made a major impact for me, I think. I think that this is just very important to, to see someone that looks like you. Like I said, um, growing up in a smaller town, you don't see that very much. I love her. <laughs> she, well, she clearly loves you too, as of all of our interns who have been through. It would have been a lot shorter show if we focused on yeah. folks that did, that <laughs> no. know, it's like, Can't find it, would anybody like to raise their hand that has, doesn't have something nice to say? There ain't nobody out uh, there. I think the cookies help. Yes, oh, they do. You've probably heard <laughs> about Cookie Friday by now. Every Friday, Vicki brings in cookies for the newsroom, and today, we repaid the favor. Look at this. Our new staff dropped off cookies Aww. and other sweets right in front of Vicki's desk. By lunchtime, it was just filled with sweets and flowers. A small token of our appreciation. Of course, Vicki brought <laughs> cookies in as well, her mm -hmm. final day. Thank you for all the sweet treats at the end it of the week. My, my, what a uh, great tradition. I've just been so happy to do that. It makes people smile when you give them a cookie. Yeah. Now look at this. This might make you smile too. Oh Another Vicki oh. tradition that we are going to miss, the rotation of fabulous hairstyles. Yeah. Woo! 
and the pro behind the looks is Vicky's hairstylist of 23 years, Shanda Miles. One of Shanda's secrets is a special scalp oil that Vicky uses. Sorry to say, Shanda is not taking new <laughs> clients, but Vicki, we hear you are keeping the standing appointment. For sure, yes. I'll be there. <laughs> Looking fabulous in retirement. Thank you. <laughs> well, we gotta take a break. We're gonna hear from some of Vicki's family yeah. coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. Vicki, we know a big reason for your retirement is to spend more time with your family. Exactly. And you have three incredible children. Yates Excellence runs mm -hmm. deep. <laughs> so, of course, we wanted to share some of your beautiful family. This is a clip from Tawanda Coleman. Sit down with your two beautiful boys, Max and Alex, and the incredible Tori. My mom just has a deep sense of grace. Um, but also, I think what was really important growing up, especially as a single mom and as her daughter, was that my mom was an incredible journalist, an incredible mom, but she also showed that you can be all of those things and an incredible woman. She was never just like one thing for us. Um, we always talk right. about how we were kind of like a four man gang. Um, it was a very tight unit. We're all still very close. And so for her to maintain that in our family and be kind of the linchpin of our family while being an incredible journalist, while being an incredible mom, an incredible friend, um, a fashionista, everything that she is, <laughs> it just showed me that you could be all of these things and it makes you a better person in every aspect. Mom, you've done so much uh, over the uh, years, uh, not just as a journalist, but as a mom and a caring person. I think you uh, deserve this retirement. You really, uh, deserve it all. So enjoy this retirement, you know, just relax, do what you want, when you want. Um, we'll be in Texas if you ever want to come hang out with us. If not, um, have fun traveling, uh, doing what you feel like because you've done so much and you deserve the world. We love you. You've been fantastic, mom. I want you to relax, have some fun, and just know you always have a place, you know, here in Texas with me and Max. So uh, if you ever want to move around, please come visit us. We'll be happy to have you. And we love you, and I can't say this enough. As great as a journalist, newscaster she's been, she's been an even better mom. <gasps> say, not just uh, three great kids, but look at the babies. That's Lolo and little Maya, your two granddaughters. And Vicki, you said Logan, she saw you on TV for, for the first time yesterday, and she looked that. like she was looking at somebody out of this world. <laughs> I was so, I was excited. Gigi is it. famous. This <laughs> dog yeah. daughter. Yeah. Just well, that example. we have a quick moment for the mm -hmm. three of us to say words to you. I'm not going to break down. <laughs> no. But I just want to thank you. It's been a privilege. It's been my honor. You know, we use the word, we're anchors, but you've been an anchor. Yes. Oh, you know, gosh. personally and professionally. Just a great friend. And I, I'm going to miss you every oh, day. You, I'm very excited for you, but Thank 16 you. years. Mm. I mean, it just doesn't happen in this business. No, so you're right. you're good right. luck. Thank you. I'm going to miss you. Oh, <sighs> I've had the pleasure to sit next to you for almost <laughs> eight years. And from the minute that I walked in this door, you treated me as an equal which I was not. You were. I have relished sitting behind you and learning from you, Vicki, what it means to be an amazing <laughs> mom, first of all. I mean, really? Um, journalist and a friend. Thank you. Thank you. Say, I can't be I the booze on this one. <laughs> when I auditioned here eight years ago, Vicki was the anchor I auditioned with, and I remember just being like, I don't, I can't sit next to this woman, and then got the job. And, you know, I said this to you earlier today, you are a metronome. You are the cadence. You are the heartbeat. Mm -hmm that keeps us all moving because this is a difficult business at times and it's a fast paced and it's easy to become reactionary. But you are steady, you are measured, you are well informed and you have left us better as journalists, as members of this community and as people. Yes. And that is remarkable. Thank you. I can't thank any of you, all of you enough. I'm serious, I can't. And I've, I've got some things to say, but um, I'm going to need a tissue. For you. <laughs> we'll get you some. We'll take a break and regroup. And Vicki does share that message for all of us next. Well, I've dreaded slash anticipated that this moment would come, the time when my past meets my future. As many of you know, today is my last day here at News Channel 5, and I leave with, of course, so many great memories and lots of gratitude.
From the first time I walked into this building that looked more to me like a space pad to the numerous school patrols we've done, getting the chance to meet teachers and students alike from Middle Tennessee to counties outside of the area has been one great adventure. I've covered musicians, politicians, at least one sitting president, and tornadoes and floods along with families, some of them celebrating, some in mourning, all of them important. Also important, the people I work with. I couldn't have done it without them. People like Charlie Woodward, who was the videographer on most of my school patrols. Charlie was so memorable that if I saw a teacher outside of school, they wouldn't ask, how are you? They'd say, how's Charlie? <laughs> then there's Sandy Boonstra. Sandy is news director here at News Channel 5, but to me, she's more of a friend. Both of us are from Michigan and got hired around the same time. Sandy is someone I could always talk with and not be afraid to approach just because she was news director. She's truly a great news director director, but more importantly, a great friend. Then there is the news icon, Chris Clark. Chris was my first co-anchor when I was hired, and we were together for years. I can't think of anyone whose judgment I respect more. If I ever had any questions concerning a story or needed an opinion on anything, work-wise or personally, he was the news guru I would go to. He's just one of the best people that I know. Chris, Ron Howes, and Hope Hines are truly family members to me and always will be. We still get together to catch up. And around 16 years ago, I made a new friend, Rory Johnston. As serious as Rory can be when it comes to important news, he's also a lot of fun. I believe you may have heard one or 100 of his dad jokes. <laughs> Rory is what we call good people. We talk a lot about our kids, about the state of the world, about which new restaurant is the best. I'm also like his big sister when I have to be, and I'll let you ask him about that. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Sharp is just that. She's sharp, always on point, doesn't suffer fools, but can tear up when there's a story involving children. Her children are sports superstars, and her husband is an Olympian, so you can expect to hear a lot from her family in the future. And Bree Smith is everything you think she is, whip smart, funny, and sassy. But when the weather takes a bad turn, she's on top of it. She also provides a base of personal support to all of us. There are so many others I could tell you about here at News Channel 5, but I'll mention just one more. Her name is Tawanda Coleman, and over the 40 years she's been working here, I know that you've seen her on Talk of the Town, but she's done it all. Worked cameras, produced segments, interviewed the greats. But Tawanda will best be known by me as one of my dearest friends. Coming into a new environment when I came to Nashville, Tawanda was my guide and my support, and will remain close no matter what the circumstances. And I certainly cannot sign off without giving three specific people my heartfelt love. My children, Max, Alex, and Tori, have been with me on this journey every step of the way. They were babies when we moved here, and they are now successful adults and have added to the family with two wonderful daughters in love, as I like to call them, Christina and Nayeli, and the most beautiful grandchildren ever, Logan and Maya. Not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> Thanks, family, for our lifetime adventure. And so much love to my sister, Michelle, who would listen in to my concerns all the way from Detroit and always have good advice when I was fresh out. I love you, sissy. And to my sister from another Mr. Frida Harris, let's get to traveling. Finally, and most importantly, to the viewers who have been unbelievably kind and supportive over the years, thank you so much. You've lifted me when I was unsure, and you have spoken the sweetest of words about me retiring. Despite everything, it is you who I will remember the most. So if I've missed anyone, blame it on my head and not my heart. Oh. Please know that I truly feel blessed to have been a part of the News Channel 5 family, and God bless you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Cheers oh to you, Vicki. 33 years. <laughs> and in true Vicky fashion, you celebrated everybody in your last four minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. We're celebrating you in style. Yes. We have a party. We have Let's friends go. here. We're going to head up right now. I'm ready. Vicky's party. children and grandchildren are here. Let's celebrate. Let's, let's party. Yay. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. Come on. Follow you, Gigi. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Come on. So we're supposed to pretend like this is the four o'clock?
But we did the four o'clock. Is this like Groundhog Day or what? Thank you for your time.